it's another time to look at the nigerian stock market uh before i start i would like to share um my tribute to the late uh, Bolu. he was such a, a very nice and humble uh, friend a father and a mentor um it was it's still a shock that we lost um an asset and then um, i pray that his, his, his soul rest in perfect uh, peace that's that i think is one of the reason i have not uh, shared my updates for a while now i'm uh, just trying to recover from the shock because it, it wasn't planned for nobody expected that we are going to lose um him like that so like i said i pray he so rest in perfect peace okay so let's um continue now this is um a new week we, are, we, we just ended the week and um, i want to quickly share um, some of the stocks i'm currently watching now and um, how i intend to trade them before that we let's look at the nigerian all share index in general now you will notice that the index has been delivering unhindered um, performance like closing on a positive note week on week um you will see here starting from april you see the nsc index has moved from 20,000 uh, points 20,000 points to 25,000 and then um, we'll see that there's still room for the index to go higher from what we could see here the rsi is still at 49 it's not even close to the overbought yet it still remains strong and then the last time the rsi um moved up was um around um, january and you could see it got to 66 before the market uh, was dived from there so right now i project that rsi might likely get to that extent looking at the strength of the market now and that a, a fresh cross using the macd uh, is also supportive of the fact that the nsc or share index it's on its way up so we could see the resistance at um, 26 26,600 uh, visits point so this is area you need to watch out for and it's important so look um expect the index to keep going up in the coming um days or weeks that does not mean that it may not close uh, it will not close lower but i feel that the, the strength is still very strong so looking at the last uh, bullish run the NSA index found resistance around the 50 days moving average so i'm projecting another resistance here and if the index breaks this um moving average or, or push through then we are looking at 31,000. so that's very important now this is um the short term trend now on the on the daily charts the index looks uh overbought like it's actually very close it, let me say it's already overbought as it is now so whatever is driving the market would probably say it's um fear of missing out so even though this the trend still remains uh, bullish from a short-term perspective looking at the weekly chart um i feel that you need to be very cautious at this point so except you position yourself in stocks that are that are oversold and are about to recover so but if you're looking at stocks that are already going up you might probably be caught up in that uh, in that bullish uh, run so which means it may be difficult for you to sell back and like i said in my previous video the best time to buy a stock is when it's recovering from a pullback why because it has a limited downside and you have more upside potential so that's what you need to look at so this is just a brief on the market so far so on the daily chart nsa index is close to the overbought region so you may likely we may likely see uh profit takers coming at this point but on the short term i see that the market is clearly bullish so we are looking at nsa index reaching um 26,000 basis point before a major reversal so that's what we need to look at now i've actually um launched my screener yesterday and i i, I did my search to pick um stocks that i feel are up for um recovery and um, uh, when i say recovery i'm talking about um, stocks that have been bullish because that's one thing i don't miss out if i'm going to buy into a stock i need to be sure 
that the sentiment on that stock is positive and the only way i check sentiment is to look at the performance of the stock because there are information you are not privy to there are information you don't have access to one peculiar thing i discovered in the nigerian market is that stocks tends to move before breaking news unlike the u.s market where you get to see breaking news before the stock price picks up in the nigerian market the other way around you see the stock going up you're asking why by the time you see the breaking news the stock is already over overbought so it, it, it's important for you to learn how to use technical analysis to pick stocks especially in the nigerian market you may not get access to news every time there are insiders there are selected institutional investors who have direct um connections or direct uh, communications with cfos of a lot of organizations so what you need to look at basically is how the volume and price are playing out on a particular stock when you see a stock rising on increasing volume you, it means there's something happening so you need to quickly get position yourself in that stock and then ask why so don't always wait for reasons or why is this stock going up until you know the reason why it's going up then uh, that's where you will buy by the time you know the reason the stock is already up so you need to take note of that so this is just a summary of um my view on the nsc or share in there so now let's look at some of the stocks that i'm are watching next week there are three stocks i'm watching next week closely the first stock is jai's bank now i've always loved jai's bank because of their business model that's why so jai's bank it's uh jay's bank it's um let me say it's still a penny stock as it is but in terms of performance they've been able to um display or show improved results in the last uh, two or three years and looking at their business model they don't they don't run a normal uh kind of a, a, a bank a big banking that we know where you accept deposits and then you give out give it out as loan their kind of business is they accept deposits they they invest in infrastructures they invest in long-term um securities they invest in a government backed assets and you know, they share revenue with their customers so and at it's at the uh, the period like this where uh, a lot of uh, governments of different countries are looking for money trying to raise uh, funds via bonds and all that so this might actually be the best time for a bank like this to shine because they are not bothered about uh recovering loan because they don't give out loans to customer rather they are looking at uh investing in opportunities and these opportunities are in loan in borrowings government backed assets and the good thing again is that a time like this always drive yields on fixed income securities higher why because the the higher the risk the higher the return uh, investors are actually uh bidding or the higher the in the interest rates or probably the interest return investors are actually uh, asking for to compensate for the additional risk that they are taking so that's why i think this bank it's one of the uh stocks you need to watch right now now jai's bank uh, is actually recovering from an oversold region as it is now and um, i see the bank going higher in coming days so for me Jays Bank is, is, a, is, a, is a, a Jays Bank is, is a buy for now, and if you look at the weekly charts where we tend to um, understand the short-term trend of the stock, you will see that the MACD is showing a fresh cross to the upside. Now let's go back. I, I remember I wrote about um, Jays Bank sometimes ago on my blog when I spotted this fresh cross here, and from this cross, Jays Bank moved from um, 38, 39 cobalt up you could see how the bank moved to like 70 that's almost like 100 percent now before it cross to the downside so this is another opportunity for you to jump into jai's bank right now you could see there's a fresh cross with rsi pointing up very strong above 50 we could see this stock going to at least i'm seeing this stock 70 75 that's my target for this stock so expect Jai's bank to go to appreciate to like 75 naira so that's why jazz bank is a buy and you can see how this the, 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 the hammer here which is one of the bullish sign um on this stock indicates that uh buyers are actually in charge of the market so that's what this is so jazz bank is a buy so you need to quickly uh take position in this stock next week so that's one of the stock i'm actually recommending
now another stock i think you should uh pay close attention to right now is ikeja hotel ikeja hotel is a stock you should probably look at right now ikeja hotel closed by i think either eight to nine percent yesterday and i also feel that as um the government um relaxes lockdown most hotels will begin to um open up for guests or maybe at least even if guests are not coming in as it is before as it was before but i think their restaurant and um, people would want to go out to hang out and all that maybe their bars so ikeja hotel is a stock i'm also looking at now on a daily chart i see a sign of recovery here and then um, ikeja you can see from how this stock moved up i think that that was um a nine percent or thereabouts and coupled with increasing volume now remember i said something that when the stock is rising on an unusual volume it says a lot about the stock so before you focus on or uh, start asking questions on why the stock moved up notice something there is a volume so which means that investors are actually uh, picking this stock or actually uh, paying close attention to this stock so ikeja hotel is a buy too and uh, you need to pay attention to this stock right now so ikeja hotel now one of the limitations of this stock is that heavy traders if you're looking at trading in um, 500 1 million units this may not be the stock to buy because in terms of liquidity this stock is not too liquid like that so if unless you're looking at buying like um 10,000 50,000 70,000 80,000 units fine you can go in but if you're looking at 100,000 units 500,000 units ikeja hotel may not be the right stock to buy not because of the fact that um the stock is not good or technically it's not bullish but it's liquidity so you might find it difficult to sell when it's time to sell so you need to pay attention to uh volume but jai's bank it's i think uh, the average traded was around 1.4 million so you have enough liquidity in that stock then another Stock, uh, another stock I'm looking at, these are opening stock, Champions Bury. Champions Bury. Champions Bury also closed up, uh, closed by 8% eight, 8 yesterday. And I see the stock is actually up for uh, recovery. Now, looking at the recent cross here, so I feel that you should probably go into the stock. And uh, from 83 cover, I see a target up to 1 Naira. So, you need to pay attention to this stock now the last time it crossed up you could see how it moved from 72 cover up to um one naira so now we are seeing another cross again so champions Bury is a stock to buy so these are the three penny stocks i am paying close attention to right now the first one is giles bank the second one is ikeja hotel the third one is champions Bury. now all these three stocks are recovering from uh, oversold region so you need to quickly take position and then um, enjoy the ride now one thing i always do is that when i want to buy stock at um, the low end i really don't uh, uh look at the um, limited price limit price why because i'm still buying at a bargain price the price is still very low so what i always do is i buy um at the market price i use 30 percent of my investable funds to buy at the current market price then i will use the remaining 70 percent to average down that's in case uh the stock uh, uh pulls back in case the stock um dips a little bit uh further downward sorry i quickly jump into the market to average down waiting for the proper take off so these are the three stocks i'm going to pick um next week and then um, i hope to trade them for like a two three weeks depending like i also say I also say my average exit target on each of the stock is 15 20 percent and i'm out of the market i always believe in the power of compound interest that's why i don't set high return expectation you hardly see me buy a stock and then i'm well, waiting for uh, 50 100 percent uh, appreciation if it happens fine but i have a modest uh, return target and this target has helped me to compound my return consistently so um, if you have um, questions uh, or you probably um, want to know more about this stock or you have a question for me, just uh, share on our comments. Feel free to like 
our YouTube channel. I promise you, I'm going to be sharing very, very important information with you uh, going forward uh, as regards um, stock uh, trading. And I'm also going to be picking stocks to trade. Also, I have a video on how to pick stocks. Everything you see here, they are straightforward. I have a system that I use to scan the Nigerian stock market, pick stocks that are recovering from oversold region. And you can actually get my video. Just uh, go to the comment section, go to the description section, uh, click on my blog, uh, NigerianStocksToBuy.com. And then after, at the end of every con article, you always see a link to buy the video. It's, it's something I, I, I expect everyone to get because it will help you to build a consistent and profitable trading business, especially here in Nigeria.